What's up guys, I am back and iOS 15 is finally here with a ton of new features and changes. So right now we have hands on with the first developer beta and the first impressions are really really good. There are some features that Apple did not mention on the stage, so we will talk about all of them in the video. But let's talk about the top 10 new features in iOS 15. So to kick things off, the biggest new change in iOS 15 is with notifications. The changes are both visual and functional. So basically we have bigger app icons on the notifications and they slim down and they basically size up depending on the notification size. And the best part is that all of these form a block called a notification summary where all of your notifications are in a big block and all of them are categorized on the basis of what the application is and how important the notification is. But all of this works with the new focus app which is just amazing and the best feature in iOS 15 in my opinion. So basically I'm going to give you a quick preview of how this works. So you can simply choose from any of these right here. You can make your own from scratch and have your own preference. So for the sake of the video, let's select gaming. So when you go inside here, you have this splash screen, just click OK and you have to choose your contacts that can contact you. So you can choose that and from here you can also choose which applications you want notifications from. So you have all of them in alphabetical order and you can select the applications you want to get notifications from. So simply choose which applications you want and click on next and here click on just allow these two applications. Now you can also allow time sensitive and important ones but that is up to you. And from here on, this is the best part in gaming. So if you have a controller and it is connected to your iPhone, the phone will automatically go into the gaming focus mode which is just amazing. So every time you have the controller connected, the phone is automatically going to do that. Now you can also choose other stuff like automatic replies and home screen customizations which basically will allow you to choose which home screen pages will appear when you are in a particular focus. You can have a few of them turned on at all times for one focus and disabled for others, which is a neat feature. You can simply enable them from the control center right here. And you can see that I only have one page on the home screen, the one that I selected in the settings. You also have this small icon in the lock screen to let you know that the focus for the gaming is turned on. Now moving on, live text is another great feature in iOS 15. So basically if you have a picture that has any kind of text, you can simply click on the small icon right here and the text will basically come in this copy form. You can simply copy the text from here and paste it any way you want. It works really, really well and flawlessly. And even in the camera application, if you have any kind of text in front of you, open the camera app and this icon will appear and you can easily copy it from there and it works really well and everyone is gonna love this feature in iOS 15. Now iOS 15 also introduces a refreshed UI or the user interface for your phone. Now it is not as noticeable as you might think because this is the iOS 14 one and you can see is a screenshot and this is the one in iOS 15. Now this is basically shrunk down and in inset cells. So it looks more cleaner and you know, it's a little shrunken down and in future, in future updates, more applications, both stock and third party will adopt this new user interface. Safari though already has because Safari is totally redesigned in iOS 15, something that was not talked about on the stage. So first of all, your search bar and pages have been moved to the bottom, giving you a bigger experience and a bigger web page. You can simply swipe across them to move web pages and you can simply categorize all your tabs, all your web pages in different tab groups based on whatever you want. So you can create a tab group right here and have all the web pages right there. The menu bar is now a share sheet and in my opinion, all of this is gonna take some time to get used to because all of this is a little bit tedious. Now we also have a new control center in iOS 15. So that's not really true, but we have new toggles in there, which are app specific, especially with SharePlay and FaceTime. So now you have FaceTime links where you can create a link and send it to your friends or anybody and they can just join the meeting in FaceTime. You can also share your screen. You can just simply use SharePlay, which is a new feature. So you can simply watch movies together or listen to music together with your friends on FaceTime. Now you also have new toggles, as I said, in Control Center for FaceTime. Basically you have one for mic mode right here. So you can choose from voice isolation, wide spectrum, and you also have portrait mode built in FaceTime right now with iOS 15, which is just amazing in my opinion. Now the weather app has been also updated with iOS 15. So now you have more lively backgrounds and more data basically. So let's say you have a city right here. And if you scroll down, you have a full map section right here. So if you click on the map, it's gonna redirect you inside the map application, giving you more information like UV index, the sun rays, all of that right here. And all of this can be seen in the weather widget as well. So that is pretty nice. And talking about widgets, we have a few new ones with iOS 15. First of all, we have the clock one, and then we have a new for Find My. And I am sure that a few of them will also be coming with future iOS 15 beta. So just wait for them because they are coming. Now, App Library hasn't got a big change, but 
a welcome one in my opinion. So right now you can easily rearrange applications which was not available before in iOS 14. So that is a nice feature to have with iOS 15. So last but not the least, we finally have offline Siri with iOS 15. So basically you can have Siri do all the basic stuff without internet, like making phone calls, setting an alarm, setting a reminder, or sending a message. Basically all the stuff you don't need Wi-Fi for. It's finally here and you can do that with Siri in iOS 15 without Wi-Fi. And this is something that should have been here ages ago, like in iOS 11, 12, but we finally have that now and it's amazing. So that is pretty much it. I hope you all enjoyed the video and if you did, give it a big thumbs up and stay tuned because a lot of iOS 15 coverage is gonna be coming really soon, hidden features, missing features, all of that stuff is coming really soon. So stay tuned and as always, please like, comment and subscribe. Peace.